So have you ever wondered what are the best settings to get the smoothest shots through your DJI Ronin gimbal? Well, today we're going to find out. So once your gimbal is actually balanced, you want to connect your gimbal to your phone through the Ronin app. That allows you to actually get your settings correctly and adjust them to the way you want and how you shoot. So I currently have just connected my phone to my Ronin gimbal and we are ready to actually begin the settings. Now, down here, there's a balance test. This is something you probably should do every single time before a shoot to make sure your actual gimbal is balanced. So I'm just gonna click on it here. You have to have your gimbal at a 15 degree lean to begin the test. So make sure you do this test every time before a shoot. So I'm just gonna do it now. So now that the test is done, it come up balanced test results. Tilt is excellent, roll is excellent, and the pan is excellent. So it's clearly balanced correctly. So I'll press OK and get out of the balance test. Now here is where we get into the settings of the gimbal to make the, the gimbal a lot smoother. So down the bottom left, you will notice it says user profile. Now this is where you can adjust three different profiles for three different types of shooting. So we just click on this. And then here we have M1, M2, and M3. So these are the three profiles you can adjust to specific styles of shooting. And then in your gimbal, you can just flick between all three really quickly by, um, by pressing the M button on your gimbal. So on your gimbal here, you press M, and at the top left of your gimbal, it'll come up with M1, M2 and M3 every time you click it. So that is how easy it is to adjust the different settings. So first of all, we're going to go to M1. So with a lot of my work, I shoot a lot of real estate. And with real estate, you always need to have that level horizon. Um, so you don't quite use the tilt as much. So I like to have my first one M1 on pan follow. So just over to the right, you can adjust to whatever you like, but I choose pan follow for my first M1 setting. Now down below, you'll see follow speed. It's currently on medium, but here we can go to custom. So custom, now where it says pan, tilt and roll, you can adjust all these, but really all we're gonna be using is the pan. So, from here, we want to adjust the pan all the way down to 10. Now with the tilt and roll, I just like to have them down as 10 as well. Now with dead band, we want to get rid of medium and put it to custom as well. Now in custom, I've already adjusted it, but we want the dead band to be not as strict. So what dead band does is when you rotate left and right, you don't want your gimbal to grab really quickly and turn super quick when you're doing these movements. You want it to be smooth always. So if I'm doing these really harsh turns, we want it still to be smooth going left and right. So to do that is turn the, turn the dead band down to two. So it's probably up on yours a bit higher, but dropping them down to two really eliminates those harsh jars you're gonna get when actually turning left and right. So that's essentially what I have for M1. I have pan follow, follow speed on custom, all 10, and then dead band custom, all two. Now for my second profile, M2, I like to have this on pan and tilt follow. So pan and tilt follow allows your gimbal not only to pan left and right, but also tilt up and down. So as you can see now, it's on medium and medium. If we put it to fast and let's say high, it's gonna be really responsive and really jarry. And you don't, you don't want that in your footage. You want your footage to be super smooth and not have those really quick jars. Now, similar to what we had for M1, we wanna adjust all those settings 
down to low as possible or not super low but enough to make your footage really smooth. So for follow speed, we want to go to custom and then drop them all down to 10 again. So pan follow to 10, your tilt down to 10, your roll down to 10. And then for dead band, instead of higher, we want to go to custom and make sure pan, tilt and roll are all on tour as well. So that'll allow your footage to be a lot smoother. It's not like when I'm ripping like this, it's not going bang, bang, bang. It's just a lot smoother. It just helps with your footage, especially when doing speed ramps. If you're doing speed ramps and you've got your settings on medium or higher, it's going to be really, really difficult to have those clean speed ramps. So you need it on those lower settings to have smoother footage. So you notice it's not as jarry here. So now that we have two modes that are really smooth to get crisp, really good shots for speed ramps, it's also good to have a faster pace mode for when you're shooting action and things like that that involve a lot more movement. Because when you're in those slower settings, say like M2, and a car's going past really fast or a push bike, and you're trying to get it, it's really difficult in those slower modes because you're going to miss the shot because it's the dead band and all that is really slow. So it's always good to have a faster pace mode as well. So with my M3 mode, I like to have this a little faster. So I'm going to keep this on pan and tilt because I always like it tilting up, down, left and right. And then for follow speed, custom, and then pan and tilt, I put up to 25. 25 and roll 25. So although we have the follow speeds to 25 for pan, tilt and roll, we want the dead band to still be lower. Um, this is due to when you're standing there with a the shot just holding straight on, you don't want your camera just to be randomly just moving left or right because you're on a slight little slope. Um, so just make sure they're a lot lower and you'll see a big difference with your shots. So now that we've adjusted all the settings on your phone, you can now go to your gimbal and you'll see a big M button on your gimbal. So by tapping that M button, you can switch between the three modes that you've created. So the first mode is pan follow. So it just pans left and right. It doesn't go up or down. So now we click M again and it'll go to M2, so profile 2, and then we have pan, tilt, follow. So what pan, tilt, follow is, like I said before, is it tilts up and down now and left and right. So we essentially have smoother footage now, going left, right and up, down. Now for those faster shots, we have the third profile, which we click the M again. And now we're in a faster paced version of pan, tilt, follow. And they are the three profiles I use to get super, super smooth footage. And it should change the game of the way you shoot. So if it helps, please hit the like button, comment how you go with this and tell us if it was an easy tutorial to actually watch. So hope you have a great day and we'll see you at the next one. Cheers.